hey y'all this is your girl tashi and how you doing how you feeling i hope you're doing great yes 10 most dangerous cities to live in europe oh y'all better comment below and let me know if this is true or not okay or if there's anything else you would like to add let me know okay because y'all the only ones who knows the truth Y'all the only ones, so let's get straight to the video. And comment below, let me know if you're from any of these places. 10 most dangerous cities to live in Europe. European cities are generally perceived to be safer than cities in the United States in terms of the rate of murder. According to the World Health Organization, there is no European city among the 50 deadliest cities in the world. In fact, the homicide rate per 100,000 people in the European city with the highest murder rate is less than one-tenth of the rate in most dangerous cities in the United States. This, however, does not mean that all cities in Europe are very safe to live in. Some cities are some... Yeah, but, but here is more, more serious. Over here is more serious than, than Europe. <laughs> what dangerous? Here are the 10 most dangerous cities to live in Europe according to the rates of murder or homicide. 10. Glasgow, Scotland. Turf wars have long been a problem in Glasgow. According to data from various sources, thousands of people have died as a result of this and other acts of violence over the years. In 2010, a total of 30 murders took place in Glasgow. That has been the annual average of violent fatalities that take place in Glasgow. A combination of gang violence and turf battles has made Glasgow one of the most dangerous cities in Europe, particularly in the United Kingdom. The homicide rate in the city is 5.1 murders per 100,000 inhabitants, making it dangerous for citizens to move any time they like. 9. Tallinn, Estonia Tallinn is an Estonian city located on its northern shore and known for its architecture. It ranks at a top position on the list due to its tiny population size and a disproportionately high number of murders per capita. With 5.5 murders per 100,000 inhabitants, it's certainly among the most dangerous cities to live in Europe. The number of homicides in this region of Europe is very low. In some areas where the crime rate is high, there have been as many as 9.4 murders per 100,000 people. The rate in Tallinn has remained around 5.5. 8. Florence, Italy Florence is the first Italian city on this list of the most dangerous cities in Europe. It is accompanied here by Milan. The challenge of violent crimes in both cities is not only about the murder, which is actually high, but it is more common to be a victim of theft in both Florence and Milan than it is elsewhere. 7. Why Milan, Italy. The city of Milan registered an astonishing 6,697 theft instances per one... Wait a minute, how are you just doing that in broad daylight? <laughs> oh my gosh. 100,000 people, which is an extremely high rate. According to data from Statista, the city has the largest number of cases in terms of qualitative comparison out of all of Italy's metropolitan areas. Because of its high crime rate, the city was ranked most dangerous in the country. According to the Overseas Security Advisory Council, OSIS of the United States, Petty criminal networks are very active in tourist areas around the city, making Milan a particularly dangerous city for foreigners. According to the OSIRS, these networks pickpocket, snatch valuables and scam tourists from overseas. Well, I heard about that. No wonder why you find Milan among the most dangerous cities to live in Europe. Six. That's why when you're traveling, you have to be safe. I watch all the videos about how people be scamming people. When you go to other countries, like, you gotta be careful, okay? Even here in America, I'm so careful when it comes to traveling. Um, like if I'm going somewhere outside, I watch my back. I don't like people walking behind me. Don't walk behind me. I don't want to talk. <laughs> don't stop to talk to me about nothing, okay? Um, yeah. <laughs> Grozny, Russia. During the last decade, the city of Grozny in Russia Grozny. was subjected to a fierce civil war that resulted in bombings, missile attacks, and the loss of the majority of the city's infrastructure. This city continues to have a high degree of criminal activity, even though things appear to be improving there in recent years. Okay. The presence That's of the good. Russian mafia in this city has been the main reason for the continuation of these crimes. The streets are home to many internally displaced and homeless people. 
Because of the unending construction works in this city, many of the residents are forced to live in unfinished structures with no access to power. This has provided enabling environment for those crimes being committed. Yeah. Rosny is truly one of the most dangerous cities to live. Fine. No electricity, there's no light. That means you better be in your house a certain time. You better be in your house before the sun, the sun go down. Make sure you get everything you need before you get in your house. Make sure your house, you make sure your door is secure. That is scary. Very scary. Five. Marseille, France. Marseille is a port city in the south of France and it is the country's largest port. This city has served as a key commerce hub for hundreds of years. The vast majority of crimes committed in this area are minor, such as stealing, mugging and pickpocketing. I never saw a woman who walks somewhere like that late at night, not looking at your surroundings. You're just walking straight ahead. You're not looking behind you. You don't, Like I said before, I don't like people walking behind me because I could, I could tell when someone's walking behind me. You can't be walking like that, especially if you have a... Mm. Just be careful. Because of a lack of police personnel on the streets, the crime index is at an all-time high. Of course. Poor investment in law enforcement, as well as a high incidence of... And that's a scary thing when there's not a lot of police officers available. And these criminals know that. So they they jump into the opportunity to do what they got to do because there's not a lot of cops. That's why people, you know, you gotta, like I said, you got to be safe and protect yourself. Corruption and inequality characterize the city's landscape. Travelers are frequently advised to choose other towns in France to visit other than Marseille in addition to Paris. Mm. 4. Mitrovica, Kosovo Mitrovica is a large city in the Republic of Kosovo. The entire country had already been segregated along the ethnic lines comprising the Serbs and the Albanians who live there. In the aftermath of this split, several ethnic riots and other acts of violence have resulted in the loss of lives and property. Constant hostility exists between these two ethnic groups, with confrontations breaking out regularly and seemingly without warning. Furthermore, there is a high percentage of criminal activity and corruption in the city. With all of these factors in play, the city operates inefficiently, with the police providing little or no assistance to victims of criminal actions within its borders. A city with the aforementioned characteristics is definitely one of the most dangerous to live in. 3. Sofia, Bulgaria. Sofia, the capital. That's a problem too, and that's, that, it's not just here. This is pretty much a lot of places. The cost of living, and I said this before, cost of, when, where this, when the cost of living is so high, people cannot afford to live a secure, safe environment. So you're stuck living in a place where it's going to be more crimes especially there's not a lot of cops around um because they're more protecting they're more protecting the people who do have money they're protecting them more than the poor people the poor the people who live you know in the, in the um most dangerous places because it's you know obviously because <laughs> they live in a dangerous place you know it's poor over there they can't afford things so you got people who just or up to no good as you know there's not, they don't got a lot, they don't have a lot going on for them, so they commit crimes. This is what they do. It's, it's sad, but this is what they do, and it's just sad, you know? And especially when you, you know, the government is not doing much, it's gonna, this is, this is what's gonna happen. I know, it's, it's sad, it's sad to have to hear this. The of Bulgaria has a plethora of fascinating stories to tell. Each historical landmark will provide you with a fresh perspective on the city's turbulent past. To illustrate, consider the churches in this city. For many centuries, many of them have been mosques, the obtrusive Soviet architecture or the Roman heritage site. As more are being unearthed, they are being added to the contemporary metropolis. Mm. Numerous structures you'll see date back to the Bulgarian revival period, which began in the late 19th century when the country regained its freedom from the Ottoman Empire. We are more interested in Sofia's notoriety. It has a high rate of thefts and robberies, especially in the evenings. Because of this, tourists are often apprehensive about visiting the area. He didn't even say night. He said evenings. Area. According to a poll, over 30% of the city's people are not confident in the city's safety. 
The prevalence of organized crime in the city is demonstrated by the murder of a famous radio personality by a mobster in broad daylight. Even after being apprehended, he was freed because no eyewitness felt confident enough to testify against him. In Sofia, contract killings are on the rise and organized... That's because nobody don't want to talk. They're scared. I didn't see anything. I was looking at my watch. I'm scared too. I'm sorry. I didn't see anything. Crime figures are overwhelming the judiciary. 2. Tbilisi, Georgia Tbilisi is a kind of city that will lure you in, unveiling itself slowly and then get right under your skin. Damn. Tbilisi is sleek and chaotic and charming and unconventional at the same time. Dripping with tradition, it remains effortlessly cool. According to the International Crisis Group, Tbilisi, the capital city of Georgia, is one of the most dangerous cities in Europe. Following the 2008 conflict with Russia, public unrest has regularly erupted in a certain Georgia region. Public demonstrations often turn violent, resulting in the loss of lives and property. To quell such demonstrations, police often use excessive force. This unwavering demonstration has resulted in a rise in crime in Tbilisi. Bombing attempts and explosions on the city's outskirts have been reported on a few occasions. It makes you think sometimes, where are the police, where are the police officers? Why is it if people protest, why is it that when people protest, there's so many cops come? There's so many cops come and want to stop people from protesting. So many. You got helicopters, you got uh, people, t uh, what do you call those things? The, 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 the tanks. They driving those big old tanks. Where y'all come from? You know, it makes you think like, the, the street would be safe if there was more police officers on the street. So it's like when, when, when people protest that they're all coming out. Where y'all come from? <laughs> I don't know. It just makes you think. Like, where y'all come from? Because the city would be safe if y'all was around. You know? They should at least have at least maybe one or two police officers in each neighborhood. You know, like walking up and down and, you know, making sure everything is good. But this is crazy. Even though the government has taken significant security measures, the danger of crime remains quite high. Oh, 1. Hey. Bradford, UK Bradford is a city in the English county of West Yorkshire, lying in the foothills of the scenic Pennine Highlands. Like most of the cities in the north of England, Bradford played a key role throughout the country's industrial revolution. Bradford was mostly known for its textile manufacturing. In addition, it also benefits from its proximity to mines and water. Visitors to Bradford and those considering investing in real estate in the city should be aware of their surroundings. Criminals are swarming the streets of the city in large numbers. Because of its high yearly crime rate, which is 177% higher than the national annual crime rate in the United Kingdom, it is considered one of the most dangerous cities in Europe. According to the police department, violence and drug-related crime are the most common types of crime in the city, accounting yeah. for 38% of all recorded offences. High real estate prices, low incomes and high unemployment in the area have contributed to an alarming increase in the city's crime of rate. Course. which is. I'm sorry, I mean, I don't mean to stop it right here, but he, he's that's pretty much a lot of places. There's not a lot of job opportunity. People just gave up on life. They don't have nothing to lose. They don't give a damn. They don't care about their life. They sure are not gonna care about other people's life. They're gonna find ways to get what they want. They know that there's not a lot of cops available. So they're gonna do these crimes. It's common sense. Nobody shouldn't have to explain this to the government or anybody else. Even a four year, a four -year old could tell you that. <laughs> is now at an all-time high. Oh According to the most recent Bradford police statistics, there has been a steady rise in complaints of violent and sexually explicit offences in Bradford. I'm quite sure. As you can see, the listing of these 10 most dangerous cities to live in Europe is based on specific types of crime. If you know other cities that are more dangerous for the crimes mentioned here, please don't hesitate to share what you know in the comments section below. I mean, like I said before, y'all, like I said before, and I've said this so many times, it's not going to stop until they do something about it. But anyway, if there's any other um, uh, videos you'd like me to react to, comment below, let your girl know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it's going to subscribe. And I'll see you lovely people. And if you live in any of these places, let me know if it's true or not. Okay, y'all will let me know in the comments if it's true or not, some of the stuff that he was saying. Um, and let me know if there's anything else you would like to add.
some of the stuff that he didn't mention just let me know let us know okay sharing is caring <laughs> and uh yeah take care of yourself bye and